Hi guys, welcome to your November reading. So I have tuned in to the collective's energy, what to expect in November, and I've written down my notes in front of me and I'm gonna share with you how you can best plan, seed, prepare uh, for the month ahead. And if you enjoy, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment down below where in the world you're tuning in from. I love reading where you guys are from because I just think the internet still is such a mind blowing place for me that you can watch this from anywhere in the world. Um, but yes, without further ado, we're gonna get into it. So when I was tuning in to the energy of November, I asked November to like step forward and immediately what was revealed to me was the root chakra. Now, if you're unaware of what the root chakra is, it is the energy of stability, it's the energy of safety, and it's the energy of expression. And so it's all about your finances, feeling secure within yourself. It's very much uh, the frequency of earth being rooted here and now. And so what I wrote down was that the next month is going to be uh, a revealing of how stable you feel within yourself, how safe you feel within yourself, how safe you feel with your finances, and it's all about planning and setting seeds. So for the next month, let's say you um, have bills to get to, just get them done, right? If you have things that you're kind of pushing off in regards to you feeling secure and safe within yourself, now is the time to reveal. I'm even hearing, um, if you have like this desire for a relationship, let's say it's to look back at all your past relationships and like write down, they're just showing me like write down a list of these people, move through the process of like grief or gratitude and, and healing of each of these people to release them from your field, from your energy. Um, so it's all about rerouting and rewriting um, your, your roots is what they're saying. So any part of your past that you feel is, they're almost showing me like cobwebs, like stuck in your root anything that is like bringing your past with you you have to like take take a day out look at that and start to reseed it like release it and plant new seeds because this is going to be a month for writing and sowing seeds because obviously we're going to be moving into a new year soon it's going to fly by and so when we kind of move into the new year people think like oh it's the start of the new year time to like plant but um and time to set no set new goals right but when we plant like something in the soil, it takes a while for it to fertilize, for it to grow, for it to root and grow the like roots down. And so what I'm seeing is right now in 2025, in February specifically, they're showing me the manifestation of a flower, but November is gonna be when you sow those seeds. So it's gonna be great for you to organize, plan. I'm even hearing clear out your home and your environment, let go of things, as even relationships and friendships that are not serving you so that you can make space for what's about to come in, okay? So it's all about planning and setting those seeds. So if you've been feeling like you've been wanting to a project or you've been wanting to try a new job or maybe start dating or whatever it is, um, even dating your current partner, like re rekindling that romance, whatever it is, it's like now is the perfect time to set that seed. And they're almost saying like, maybe if before it wasn't working out, it's because the energy that's moving into now is the, is the time we're here to seed that, okay? Um, they also showed me this like influx of energy um, of support is gonna come in for all of you. So if you feel this lack of support the past couple of months, you felt isolated, you felt alone, you felt um, not heard or seen, this month, I want you to understand that there's like this beautiful red cloak. I'm seeing it like a blanket. <laughs> um, they're showing me these like photos of, you know, on Pinterest, like little rabbits and they look cozy and they look comfortable and they're like in their little tree. It kind of feels like this energy, this blanket of warmth, of support is gonna be surrounding you, but it's not like a nurturing motherly love. It's not like a warmth of like, hmm. It's like, uh, a strong rooted earth energy of like, you've got this, like this strong assertiveness of support is flooding into you now. So really allow yourself to receive that. And they're kind of circling me back again to just something with the past. If there, people have hurt you in the past or there's been uh, something like an ending, a breakup or, or something, even with a specific person or multiple people, it's really important you release that and just let it out, let it out of your system. If you have anger, scream into a pillow. Um, a great practice I did when I was wanting to like release people from my life is imagine they were in front of you and just express everything you needed to express. And after your heart is like beaming open because you've actually let go of all that, that dense energy in your body and you've just sent it out into the ether. And so you're giving yourself a new stable ground to rewrite and reroute um, the next chapters that you're wanting to come in, okay? Because they're showing me a book. It's like next chapters. Um, one thing I kept seeing is if any of you are struggling to get clarity or you're struggling with um, 
not feeling fully present in life, they kept showing me to buy a candle and start to meditate with a candle. So looking at the candle, meditating to the candle um, and getting what color you intuitively feel drawn to get. If you wanna get a red one, an orange one or a green one, they're showing me those are great colors for the heart, the sacral or the root. Um, and what's really interesting about this month is they said the words, the shadows will roar. And I've been speaking to a lot of people and their shadows are coming up like astronomically. And I think shadow is a really good thing. Um, I know a lot of you guys who watch me may have gotten to spirituality and you're very into like ascension or transcending this physical realm or this physical experience. And from being on this path for many, many years, um, what I feel is that actually we have to make love to our shadow. We have to appreciate it just as much of our light. Um, I don't know if you've maybe met like spiritual people who are quite like toxic in their own way. And it's because they're transcending and denying their shadow and just emphasizing the light. When I really feel the game of life is like going into the shadow and finding the divinity in that. And if you're unaware of what a shadow is, um, a shadow is essentially something within you that you've repressed and pushed down so far that it actually starts to come out in a shadow form in your life and acts and manifests in your life through relationships, through your physical appearance, through your physical actions, your physical life. Um, because if you think about a shadow, it's always there. Like we all have a shadow. We can't get rid of like the wall shadow we see when there's like light shining on us, right? It's the same with our spiritual shadow or emotional shadow. If we act like it's not there and we don't acknowledge it, it actually gets bigger in its life force. It, it becomes like a lion, like an entity that roars in silence. So a lot of people might have like sexual shadows. Uh, like an, a shadow could give you an example of like, let's say you've like repressed sexuality. And so you kind of act like, okay, that's not a part of me and you act really pure and you're just like kind of moving along with your life. But there's this part of you that has this like yearning desire to experience like life in a more erotic form or something like that. So it's about not denying that that's not there because I, for example, sexuality is a great example because most of humanity deny that it's there and then it comes out in like really twisted ways is instead of acting like it's not there, start to face it head on in the eyes and give it the acknowledgement, give it the breath, the air that it desires to be heard and seen and loved. And that is when I'm just seeing like white flowers blooming out of it, right? Have you ever seen a sidewalk that's like so dark, it's so dirty and there's just like these little flowers in the crack growing? I see that with shadow in the fact that our shadows are pure. So if you have a shadow of insecurity, of uh, fear of your anger or fear of, playing big, right? These are all shadows. If we acknowledge them and love them, there's always a seed of gold of the actually like the opposite thing we're yearning for. And what I mean by that is a lot of people um, are afraid of their power. They're afraid of their light. And so they repress it into the shadow and then they judge others who are shining and being bright and following their joy and following their lives. And so they just turn bitter. But when they actually look in the shadow, that part of them that is so afraid to shine is because they have so much energy to shine. Right? So it's like a paradox, I guess you could say. So shadows will roar, honor your shadows. We're not perfect. We're meant to be light and dark. We're humans. We're not these perfect celestial beings. So really honor your shadow right now and let that speak to you and let that be medicine for you, okay? And then the last one they were saying was it's time to play. Use things that um, immediately they're showing me the color orange, which is the sacral chakra, which is all about like play and you know painting, creation, color. Let yourself play, let yourself laugh, let yourself find joy. I'm seeing something about circles or community, like getting out into nature, communing with other people, connecting. That's really like tribal. That's really like the root chakra, the stability of um, of community of this earth. You know, we're tribal and like wired beings, and I felt that from my travels for many years of just witnessing every culture that I've immersed myself in, just how everyone kind of flocks to be one another, right? Like kind of like sheep. <laughs> so it's kind of like the same with humans. We're wired for communal living, for community, for uh, acceptance. So the more you get out with people, you learn so much about yourself. Um, and so lastly, I'm gonna pull a card from this. This is the uh, Rebecca Campbell ancient stone deck that I just bought. So you want to send your energy into the cards. I'm going to pick three cards for today. And again, if you're enjoying, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Um, and yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, one more. 
<laughs> okay, I got the Sanctuary, which is Harmony and Balance, Joy and Contentment. And if you see this card, obviously she's out in nature, she's exploring, she's in her joy, she's in her fun, frolicking in the woods, let yourself kind of bring and re-immerse yourself back in. You know what I'm, I, I'm sick of is saying inner child, because I think that is like basically implies that adults aren't joyful. Like it's, you, you have to access the child. I think that it's about recoding yourself to experience a joyful adolescence. Um, and realizing your adult self wants joy just as much as your inner child wants joy, right? Um, okay, the next card is good luck, auspicious, wishes granted, blessings. Yeah, this is about sowing seeds for me. Like I really just see that energy of support that I was referring to earlier is flooding in. So let yourself receive that. It's kind of like this. It's like a mist of energy falling in. So like receive that. And then the guardian stone, which is all about awakening progress and initiation. And so I do always feel the root chakra is an initiation. That's how we come into this planet through the root, through the, the base of a woman's body. <laughs> so the root is really just all about moving through that initiation within yourself to find the strength, the resilience, whatever your specific soul wants to learn right now and being open to the offerings that the world and this life and spirit is trying to offer you. So yes, that is for November. I hope you have a beautiful November. Comment down below what you thought, how you're feeling, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in my next video. Ciao.